Cloud9's AOE 2000, Curtis. Hello. How, how are you today? Okay, we just lost to Navi. Uh, but you guys still doing okay in the groups, four and two. I talked to you and Envy and just, you guys have been saying your boot camp's been crap the whole time, and then you come in here and you're doing quite well. What, what, what's the difference? Um, actually, I, th I think our boot camps have progressively got better. I think Envy's a bit biased against boot camps. He wants to just sit at home, you know, since I play Dota, since I play more Dota, stuff like that. But uh, I, I don't know, getting here, it's... Actually, I, I have no idea what the difference is. I, I think we're just about at this level. Like, this is how we sh should be playing at. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of people say that your team is, is inconsistent, that you guys have amazingly good highs, but also equally bad lows. What's, uh, ha has that changed at all, or is just everyone more focused uh, this tournament? No, I think that's still true. I, I think some games became be pretty inconsistent. I think the Navi game, it should have been a pretty easy win for us. Um, so, I don't know, we're definitely more focused, I guess, but I think a few of our bad habits are still there. Like, um, sometimes, even in-game, like, we get a little unfocused when something bad happens. Sometimes we don't retreat fast enough because, like, stuff like that. And our communication isn't, like, it's not streamlined enough, I guess. Um, big story is a lot of new teams, a lot of weird teams on the top. I wouldn't, maybe not weird, since if you guys expect it to be, be up there, but a lot of the favorites, like Alliance, DK, these teams are not doing as well as they thought. Um, what, do you have any idea why that is, or do you have any theories on it? Um, I think the Dota scene is just actually a lot closer than people think it is, and that's, like, it's best of one, so it becomes even more random when you, it's a format like this. So I, I think it's just a combination of those two. Uh, I know DK had some problems with Lanham. He had like a mig migraines and stuff, so that could contribute to it. And then, I don't know, even at TI, it's very easy once you've taken a couple losses to sort of, it, so it gets you. Tilts, and, right? Yeah. Teams start tilting. Uh, I do want to say though for Alliance, like they played IG, Newbie, DK. Like they played, they had the hardest first day I think out of anyone. So like I, I wouldn't be surprised to see them get back up there. Just, they just not, need to not let it crush their like team uh, mentality or whatever. Yeah, and I don't think it will for Alliance. Like they're way too experienced. I mean, they won TI three. There's no way they'll think, oh, we suck, because I mean, they they won TI three. It's right. impossible. Okay. Uh, what have you been doing? You know, outside of the boot camp, have you guys been hanging out at all? Have you guys been doing anything fun? Um, a couple of us went to arcade. We played some basketball, some air hockey. I beat Envy, I beat Pi Air Hockey, so I'm number one. I'm actually retired because Envy thinks he's hot shit, but really I beat just beat him. He's, he thinks he's really good at every everything. Yeah, he, he really does, but like this score's one 0 for me, so. You beat him in Smash too. I did. Yeah. He was salty. He was salty. Um, and uh, you sustained an injury. I did. Well, <laughs> jumping indoors at an arcade. I think I twisted my ankle somehow. Uh, and. Uh, <laughs> She just, like, just doesn't care. Um, and is that going to affect you in any way? Yeah, Dota is a very physical sport. Sometimes, like when I'm running, it sort of hurts me a bit. You can't push the pedal. Actually, like pedal from, shooting, from shooting baskets yesterday, like my lower arm was hurting too. I thought I was like getting like RSI or something. Maybe you shouldn't go play basketball. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think the sports thing is good. Yeah, but you're not an athletic guy. I mean, I, I think you're I used tall guy. I, I think I used to be athletic at one point in my life. I used to actually play a lot of sports, but like I'm just getting fat now, so. Well, you can be, if you win TI, you can get as fat as you want. That is true. Um, and generally, supports want to get fat. We do want to get fat. Uh, are your parents uh, checking you out at a TI, or do they know about the prize pool? Do they know you guys are playing? Um, they do. I think they're pretty excited. I don't, I don't think they actually watch the matches. I don't think they look at the game at all, but they're probably following the results. Um, my dad's actually doing, he's riding across Canada right now for charity, like biking. Like your dad's like super athletic. He's like the opposite of you. Yeah, that that was me like three years ago, I think, before like I started StarCraft and Dota. But yeah, my dad's uh, probably in ten times better shape than me. That means you have good genes, though. It does. That Look means how when I you're old. Them. Huh? <laughs> Look how I wasted them. No, it means that like in a year or two, if you want to get in shape, it'll be easy. It'll be easy. That that's what it is. It's easy. <laughs> <laughs> so he's doing this like super amazing thing for charity. What charity is it? Love in Motion, I think. Okay. I don't even know what that is, but no. he's like, wow, Mr. Owie. But he's probably checking his phone, looking at Cloud9 results. 
Yeah, I don't think he knows how to use a smartphone. Oh yeah, so he's old school. He has one of the touch. He has, he has like a little Nokia flip phone or something. Oh like my that. God. Okay. All right. We're so he they probably so Dota's like far far away from what his understanding is right now. I think so. Okay. I don't think they've ever watched a game. But they know what you're doing. Are they yeah. just like he's gonna go back to college or what? Yeah, they they know what I'm doing. And they're fine with it. They support you. They they're proud of it, or what? Um, I mean, it's it's been a while that I've been doing gaming stuff. Like I started in StarCraft, and back then they're a bit like, "What are you doing?" But then like I won a tournament in StarCraft, a local one. And they're like, "Oh, cool, money." And then <laughs> like it slowly got to be more money, and they're like, "Okay." And I said I want to take a year off, and they're like, "Okay, as long as you have a plan." And like they generally trust me with stuff. I'm relatively responsible, I guess. Relatively responsible. Yeah. Who's irresponsible? Anyone on your team? I mean, there's four players on my team who are responsible. And not me. Okay. So, like, what do you mean? <laughs> I think Pi is the second most responsible. What do you mean by responsible? Um, every hotel we've been to, I think MVS lost his key card. Okay. Every time. He told me this story about walking into the wrong room and almost. Okay, okay, okay. So, in Ger Germany, I think. Yeah, so we're in Germany. Me and Singh are sleeping. We're in our room, and we hear a door open at 3 a.m. We went to sleep at like 11 or 12, 3 a.m. And this big guy walks in. Cause MV, like he's pretty, he's a pretty big guy. Yeah. He just stands there, and we're like, Yo, what the, what the hell, man? He's like, I forgot my room number and I lost my key card. So how did he get into your room though? Cause he, we had three rooms assigned for us. Uh huh. So he asked him. For, okay, we were the rooms were under Bone and the Empire. Uh huh. So he got the room under his name, but he was rooming with uh, Pi, I think, at the time. So he, his room was where me and Singh were. Oh, so that's where his okay. room. He comes in a key card. He's like, hi, hi guys. <laughs> Amazing. And you just went back? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> give, us some more, uh, give us some more awkward C9 stories. Awkward C9 stories? Yeah, you, got, you have to have more than um, that. Bone enjoys walking around in his underwear. Uh huh. Everywhere. It's fine, he's just a secure he's guy. Just everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, like in China, we were at the hotel. He's just walking from room to room <laughs> in his underwear, down the hall, all around. Uh, I don't know. In China, also, Envy was like, he was trying to do the exercise, trying to be healthy. He was like running around our hotel because it's like if you run around outside, the smog will kill you. The smog? Yeah. Isn't it really bad to exercise outdoors in China? Yeah, yeah. So you have to do it inside our hotel. Uh huh. Don't they have like a gym or something? <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Chinese hotels, they don't have a gym room? Chinese hotels have nothing, or the ones okay. we were at, at least. Uh, but other than that, you're, so you're like, the, you're like the dad. You gotta tell them what to do and like, uh, make sure know. you remember your wallet and don't it, leave your it, phone. It doesn't go that far, but like, if someone has to leave us a key or something, like, I'm definitely taking it. Mm. What about like, uh, when you guys boot camped? You lived together. What was that like? Did you have to like do the dishes and stuff? I actually did the dishes the most in Germany. I, <laughs> I bet you did. That's <laughs> awful. They just like, leave it there and then it's just gone and they don't even think about it. Yeah. That's, yeah. It's funny because like our workstations, like somehow we, we're all there at the same time. We're doing the same stuff, but Envy is just like, there's a giant mess there. Yeah. Just, like, like all these bottles. Stacks of like, of, like uh, yo, plates. What's going on? <laughs> like what's happening? <laughs> but like, it, it's not like super messy. It's like. You always have to clean up after the carries. It's like, it's like four minutes of cleanup though. Like it's not not like, uh, they need like stains everywhere or something. They need like in real life babysitting. Yeah, they do. You're like a babysitter. You have to like it, sit behind him so he doesn't, he doesn't like <laughs> kill himself or something. He's just sitting there playing games. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, so I get your team dynamic a little bit. Um, I hear that you guys are super serious in the game, even though you're kind of clowny outside of the game. Uh, I think we're pretty serious. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Against. You, you should have seen the excitement in the room. Like against Empire, I got uh, as Rubik, and I got a three man average and five man black hole. Like, black holding. Okay, go. Cool. Like, it was actually like that. I mean, we, we weren't in a good mood, but that, like, you know, I thought we'd get hyped, you know? But no, no black holding, okay. That's like the opposite good of job. Liquid. They're like freaking out over every little thing, uh, these games. Yeah, but like after not winning for six months, that's what happened. <laughs> that's pretty much, yeah, I guess. But you guys had your struggles too. You guys had like two months I of mean, like, like not doing that we, well either. People said we had two months of not doing it, but we got like second in Dream. Yeah, that's true. And like our games at ESL were pretty close, and those were the two terms we actually cared about. Yeah, but you know, no one would have expected this, right? Yeah, people don't know how to watch replays. Yeah, I guess. M must be that. Well, uh, I hope you guys continue to keep doing well. Um, I hope you wish you luck. I want to see you at Key Arena. And uh, do you have any shout outs you want to give? Any last words? Well, we gotta, we're going to do shout outs and call outs this time. Call outs? Yeah, you got to think of one, but do your shout outs first. Um, shout out to my team, Cloud9, and our sponsors, Alien.
Alienware, HyperX, Air Force Reserves, and a special shout out to Viagame and Logitech for organizing our boot camps. Boot camps important. Boot camp organizers, yeah. And what, what about call outs? Who, who can call out? And they call out. Yeah, of course. Who are you calling out? You don't want to call out anyone? Come on. I mean, Bobo almost lost his game by denying an Aegis. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna call out Bobo for the Aegis tonight? Yeah, that's, that's a good yeah, one. That, that's, that's a good the one. That's the most obvious one, right? Yeah, okay, all right. Uh, thank you very much for the interview, Owie, and uh, you know, we'll see you, we'll see you later. Right. Thanks.